Hey guys, Ginger on Wheels here. I'm gonna go for a quick neighborhood ride and explain to you guys what EBS is and how it compares to ABS and why you need it on your scooter. It's really unclear what when you see EBS, a lot of people think it's the same as ABS and it's totally not. So ABS is anti-lock braking system, which is gonna prevent your tire from skidding at all. When you have ABS on your car and you slam the brakes, you notice your back or front tires don't skid to a stop like they used to in the older cars. It's because your car has ABS. It's a computer controlled braking mechanism that will automatically um, calibrate how much pressure you need on your pads. Like as soon as it notices your tires locked up, it'll release pressure on the pads just a little bit. EBS is electronic braking system, and that is what your scooter has. And that has nothing to do with locking your tires up. I want to make you very aware that you can lock both the front and back tires up on the scooter while you're driving, and it's scary, <laughs> very scary. Um, it's even easier to do when you have EBS on. EBS is an electronic braking system, and it's a, it's a system that's engaged as soon as you touch the uh, brake lever. Whether or not your pads have squeezed hard enough to actually touch the disc is irrelevant. As soon as you touch the brake lever, your EBS engages, and about a quarter second later, you'll notice the front and rear tires both lose power and the motors start working against you. And you'll, at, at really high speeds, you'll hear the motors actually like whoosh down to a stop. So if you have EBS off, you will just be using the disc brakes and the pads, and they'll wear out very fast. The disc brakes on the scooter are not that great. You have to squeeze them really, really hard to get the scooter to stop, and they squeak, and they come loose, and they're just kind of janky in general. But if you have the EBS engaged, you'll, you'll hear that initial squeak when the pads touch the disc, and then a quarter second later, or maybe even sooner, you'll feel the entire scooter go and just whoosh to a stop, and that's the EBS kicking in. The EBS on the scooter has three settings. You've got off, and then you have one and two. And I usually keep mine on one, just because I don't like getting thrown over the handlebars on my scooter, which will happen if you have it on two. And if you're not ready for it, you like you have to be leaning all the way back on the deck like this, and then hit the brakes and you'll fly up to the front. It's just, it's not economical or feasible. I don't know who the heck invented that. So I'll, let me show you how fast we can stop on this bad boy. I don't know, could you hear the, the EBS kick in shortly after I hit the brakes. Brakes. Hear that? All right, so I guess that's pretty much it. I hope I did a pretty good job of explaining what EBS is and how it compares to ABS and how it can be helpful on your scooter. It can help you save the, the pads so you don't have to replace your brake pads as often. It's definitely helpful when you need to stop quickly, but it does take some serious getting used to. So keep that in mind when you're using your scooter. All right, everyone. It's gonna be one of my last videos before I send the scooter back. I think I'm doing this one and then a setup video and that'll be it. You're gonna have two weeks MIA. But I will be getting a new scooter and it's gonna be bigger and better and badder and I'll do reviews and videos about that. So stay tuned.